So I've finally upgraded the hot end from the J-Head Mark 5B to the E3D version 6 and all I can say is wow what an upgrade. The quality of the prints now with this setup is unbelievable. I thought I had it set up perfectly before. I was wrong. It is now a much much cleaner quality finish machine with this hot end. But not because of the E3D, because of something else. Let me go into that now. The E3D version 6 unit that I have here is the 1.75mm Universal. Universal meaning it can accept either a Bowden fed setup or it can accept the direct feed setup. At first I had simply swapped out the J head for the E3D. So I simply had this inserted uh, into the extruder block. Uh, this extruder block of course was mounted to the X carriage here as, as they all are with these prusers and as from Replicio uh, to accommodate uh, the 4mm uh, Teflon tube which they recommended to, to come right up underneath the, uh, the, the hob bolt I'd simply drilled out the, uh, the internal hole here from the original 3mm that it prints at to 4mm to accommodate the thickness of the Teflon tube uh, and also just, just ringed a little bit at the top there to accommodate this, um, this little ring which holds the Teflon tube in place. So at first, E3D mounted under here, the 1.75mm filament coming in from the top, the filament actually mounted at the top of the frame, and it worked. It was printing just as good as the J-head. Um, in fact, Besides the quality of the filament being a lot a lot better, the filament I'm using now is the Australian made ABS and PLA just recently. So besides having little artifacts in the in the filament not there because it wasn't hissing and popping like I've experienced with the Chinese stuff, the actual end result of the print looked very similar to the J head. Um, to, almost to the point where I was a little disappointed in spending the money on this because, okay, granted, it doesn't um, doesn't drip as much and it's 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 a lot finer. It's a, there's more control with printing and you can print really small parts with this, which is which is all good. But I was expecting a, a much better quality finish. Finish meaning the, the 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 perimeter the perimeter of the print being nice and level and lined up, and I just couldn't see a difference compared to the J head. That had me thinking. What else on this machine can, could I have changed or can I change to increase the quality of this print? And this is a little experiment I did. So the absolute last idea I had to try to get as much quality out of this machine as I could was to do with flow rate. The feed flow rate of the filament to the hot end which would then result in the finished product. So I had a look at the existing setup. So this is the setup I had. I had the direct feed uh, extruder block attached to the X carriage. I had the filament uh, just mounted at the top of the frame as per normal. Um, everything works as it, as it should. But then think of it this way. You've got the filament coming down. You've got the moving X carriage left and right. And you've got filament being fed into the hot end at a constant rate. But what isn't constant is the actual X carriage itself. As it prints, it moves left and right. As it moves left and right, you have this uh, direct feed mechanism here, the hobbed bolt, uh, pulling on the filament which is attached to the reel above. So as the X carriage moves away from the filament, what's happening, or what I've noticed that is happening, is the filament is now harder to flow because not only is it having to be pushed down into the hot end, it's also having to be pulled off the reel. And the same thing coming back the opposite direction. So once the X carriage is now returning back toward the reel of filament, which is just up here, all of a sudden there is less pressure on the hobbed bolt because now there is a slack of filament that's available um, to be easily pushed down. Now you can test this at home. Very simple. Calibration cube, 20 millimeter, zero percent infill, zero top layers, three perimeters, three bottom layers. This is printed at 0.2 of a millimeter. Perfect. 
What I want you to do is start printing as per normal, as you would normally do. So you'd have your roll of filament sitting up here, you'd have your, your extruder block pulling down the filament as per normal and creating the print. Great. As this is the 20 millimeter test cube, what I want you to do, as soon as it reaches halfway up the print, so say 10 millimeters, at that point, grab your filament and start pulling it out and create a slack. Create a constant slack that can be easily fed into your hob bolt. So what we want to do is make a consistent um, filament flow for the final 10 millimeters of this cube. So once your print finishes, take a good look at it and have a look at the center mark, approximately 10 millimeters high, where you started to um, feed the filament yourself. And if you can see a layer change, if you can see the thickness in the final cube being any different, um, then you too suffer the same problem as I did with inconsistent flow rate of your filament. That one simple test instantly convinced me that the Bowden feeder setup was the way to go because whether the X carriage is all the way over here or all the way over here, uh, you follow the Teflon tube all the way around and you are going to get a consistent flow because the filament is not being dragged along with the X carriage and that has made all the difference in the world to the quality. And just to confirm, the filament being fed by the hob bolt in this direct feed setup was not slipping. I'd made sure uh, the uh, extruder idler was on extremely tight and that there was no um, filament stuck in the teeth of the hob bolt. Um, it was perfectly clean um, during all my testing. Um, that simply wasn't the case. It was simply a matter of the tension on the filament changing uh, and being pulled by the roll as this was moving left and right. So I'm interested to see your results. Please leave your comments, do your test, and I am eager to hear from you.